Hi guys, welcome back to the DRG. I suppose this is almost like a vlog episode. Um, I went away for a couple of days and I came back and Daz had been creating. I'll show you what he's been doing. So, after messaging him and saying, what's all this? He said, I've been uh, made something so, so we could either play some Kill Team or I can photograph my orcs on it. It's a funky little thing here. I said to Darren, I said, how long did that take? And he said, less than a day. And I said, how on earth did you manage that? He said, well, what you need is a good collection of tools and some good bits in your bits box. So we thought we'd share what Darren considers the essentials. So first up, Darren, what's this? Uh, well, first off, we've got the main the meat and the veg of the operation, the, uh, the foam core. Great right. stuff, all sorts of things you can do with that, buildings, land forming, whatever. EVA foam, not easy to work with if you haven't got the tools, but if you have, absolutely lovely stuff. Uh, selection of plastic cards, textured, not textured, I've got a nice see-through bit for broken windows if need be. And some crushed and digestive some, biscuits. <laughs> and some giant digestive biscuits, no, uh, cork, great for land forming, build up, real easy, jobs are good. You use that for rubble as well on bases, don't yes, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the next thing to appear on my incredibly grubby hobby desk? Lots of glue. We've got cheap glue, hobby craft, school PVA. We've got some fast drying glue, a must. Love the stuff. A little shout out there to Luke's APS. <laughs> some uh, project glue, really good strong glue, do, do like that. Got some uh, super glue and activator and spray adhesive and as hard as nails glue. And the most important one, glue gun. Can't live without it. Never will, never want to. You use that more than anything, don't more you? More than anything. And the two-part uh, epoxy resin, great glue, fantastic glue. Also very, very good at water effects. Cheap and easy. Pound shop water effects. Yeah, this is so that specific one, it comes it dries crystal clear, doesn't yes, it? it, if, it you, does. if you mix it properly. Right, fantastic. So, onto the uh, selection to paints and brushes and things. Obviously, this isn't your complete collection of paints because. No, too the, much for the, the you'd, desk. You'd fill the desk, yeah. Mm. But a must is the Pound Shop spray paints. There's a black and there's a silver. Fantastic for just undercoating. Um, quick and easy, cheap. Selection of cheap paints again. We love our cheap paints. They're acrylics, aren't they? Just uh, from just, hobby shops. Just hobby, random hobby shops. These were, I thought, was quite a good find there. So, what uh, are they then? They're tester pots mm -hmm. from, um, I think I got them from the works. Just little mini rollers, just roll them on. Then a selection of cheap brushes, all different sizes. Even a pet, uh, toothbrush can weather up. And again, back to the sponges that we've covered in previous videos. Oh, that's the ones I use for uh, that episode the where I painted the pipe, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Right, quick side note between all the uh, things that Darren's showing us. This is, we just started off by describing it as an essentials list. This isn't, it's, we got carried away. It's more than just an essentials list. This is, obviously it's not quite what a professional terrain maker charges a lot of money to build terrain professionally would use, but it's obviously a long way from a beginner's kit. If you'd like us to do like a video on the top five most essential things you need, or if you were started out and you only had X amount of money to start, then drop us a, a comment down below and we'll uh, see what we can do. So next, this is the stuff you use for textured up flat surfaces, right? Yeah, just to make flat surfaces pop a little bit. First off, you've got uh, uh, sandpaper. Just chunk off little bits, glue it on. Gives a nice dry brush texture afterwards. Uh, this is uh, plasterer's tape of some sort. Makes, Maybe it's, you use it when you join into plaster balls yeah, together or something. Makes very good, very quick uh, rough surfaces. And oh. granny grading. Good old faithful granny grading. Pick this up from Boise's. Um, it's really crushing or something, isn't yes, it? Yes, I think so. Um, brilliant for anything. Uh, tops of buildings, bits on bases. Fantastic. Yeah, it looks like uh, metal work. It's lovely. Yeah. Great stuff, very useful. So, on to the stuff for finishing touches. Now, again, this isn't all of your collection, but it just a few highlights, so to yes, speak. Um, We've got uh, selections of 
uh, flocks and static grasses, some lichen, you know, all that good stuff. Sand, uh, sieve to apply it, put it in, gets it nice and uh, nice and evenly spread. Again with the Luke stuff, um, fantastic um, arid grassland stuff, perfect for basing. Snow, selection of flocks again, the good old fashioned uh, workshop school pack, it's a must just for that little bit of extra. I think that's the best £20 you can spend in workshop. Oh, it's fantastic. One of the, uh, I think it must be one of the biggest uh, kits they do at 340 pieces. Yeah, I bet. Actually, I reckon you're right there. I reckon there isn't another kit with more pieces. No. And everyone's favourite, the sand. And when you've got your, your flocks down, nicely scattered everywhere you want, you need something to seal them all in. These are just a few of the things I use. You've got a, a spray bottle for your uh, watered down PVA. For them hard to reach areas that you can't get to with your spray bottle, got a few different syringes. I think that was a cowpole syringe. Uh, pipette just to get into them uh, places, get it all sealed in, get it rock hard. These are the bits and pieces we couldn't really think of a category for, aren't they? No, these are just bits and bits and pieces I had lying around that I think are essential. Like this is, I think I got this from Hobbycraft. You can do your flocking in there, and so you don't lose any, you pop the cap, and you can tip it back. Never seen one before, thought it was genius, love it. A wire brush. Get some real nice textures on things like uh, foam core, uh, roughing buildings up, scuffing things up, beautiful. Uh, little hobby vice, I know Workshop did one years ago, I don't know if they still do, but it's a, just a, a sucker, fits to the table. Um, and this one, found it in the pound shop, it's 3D pearl effect paint. I used it for all the rivets on my terrain and also... Uh, weld around the edges of things on the on your arc board that oh. you uh, surprised me with this weekend here. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, um, and key to it all the the little bits. So I've got a, quite a quite a big bits box full of random terrainy bits. I've got I got pipes from an old uh, stomper, bits from the old uh, necro stuff, bit of basilisk there. It's that, a tape dispenser, isn't it? That's the centre of a tape dispenser. Uh, ladders, all sorts of stuff. Took me a year to go for it all of them. Missiles, engines, shotgun cartridges from a Nerf gun. The lot. So although we're filming this one last, uh, this one's probably the most important, isn't it? Yeah, definitely the most important. You need a good, a good understanding of... Um, your army, which obviously for me it was the Orcs, for you it would be Space Marine Stormcast. A good understanding of the background, where they come from, which gives you all you need to plan it out. I've got some drawing, this book's completely full of them, I'll show you a few. There's what I wanted it to look like, uh, some buildings that I wanted, you know, different, that's the little one on top. Um, there's the bigger one that I made, there's a bridge, it says book's full of them. Right then guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you find that useful. I'm sure you'll be seeing more of the Orc Kill Team board in the next coming episodes. If there's anything you'd like any more information on or you just generally want to chat hobby with us, feel free to message us on our Instagram page. The link will be down below and see if we can get Paul to post it up on the screen there for you. Right, thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. See you in the next one.